Hi everyone, it's Irit with another process video and this layout is a little different, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I am still using watercolors, which are an obsession lately, um, but I'm starting with masking fluid um, and I'm writing my title, um, which is Take Me to the Moon and um, I'll explain that later. <laughs> um, I just wanted to try something a bit different and play with my peerless uh, watercolors. So basically there aren't a lot of elements besides um, this background paper that I'm making and that also has the title in it. So the masking fluid keeps um, the colors kind of separated and um, the surface under it um, as it is. So in this case, because I put it on when the paper was still white, um, it will stay white. And I just picked a few colors that I liked, kind of happy colors, and I end up going for kind of an ombre effect in the letters and then um, different colors on the background. And I just had fun with coloring this. So I super duper ultra sped up this part um, because I'm just coloring and there's not a lot to it. Um, one thing I uh, kept doing was wet with clean water uh, first uh, the area uh, on which I was working and um, that really helps the colors flow better. Um, so I did that with each letter and then I uh, also used uh, clean water on the background before I applied the uh, color. And I just I really didn't plan this ahead. I just went with colors that I thought looked good and if they didn't look that great I tried to um, make it work and change to other colors. With watercolors uh, you can usually remove um, the paint or the color. Uh, you just have to wet the area and then blot it. It works better with certain colors and not as well with other colors. For example here at the uh, bottom M, the first M in moon, the first M in moon, there's only one M in moon, uh, the first letter <laughs> there, uh, I tried to remove that shade of purple that I didn't like and it wasn't that successful. So, um, But usually you can uh, correct your mistakes with watercolors, they are pretty forgiving. And yeah, it's just, as I said, just a really great way to play with watercolors, um, which I think is really important um, when you want to use mixed media and that type of like mediums on your pages. Uh, I think another great way to do it is to have something like an art journal, um, but I don't like to I'd rather take the chance and make something I don't like and then use and then not use it. Uh, I mean to start a page and then like abandon the project than to do something I really really like in an art journal. Um, it's just my personal preference. I've seen amazing art journals um, but I really like I just like to, to do these things for scrapbook pages and as much as I love to play with colors, um, but I really love it um, when I can use it in my photo albums. Um, but if you if you want, but this like another option you can play with your mediums just on um, in an art journal or something like that. Just experiment and see which colors you like together uh, if you don't want to waste uh, 12 by 12 uh, sheets of paper or cardstock or whatever you're using. So um, I was kind of done with the background and yeah, there I added a few things to this page, really not a lot. Um, I did use the Wink of Stella uh, glitter marker. I have only the clear one 
and I went over the letters and you have to wait until the watercolor is dry and also be careful when you go over them because watercolor is not permanent so you can just reactivate the color and um, if you know if your pen is running or something like that it can make a bit of a mess uh, but I was careful and it was dry and it was really no problem and it looks really nice the letters has have a really um, like nice uh, subtle uh, shimmer on them so that was fun and the photo here is of sushi I really like sushi and I was trying to think when was the first time I ate sushi and I really can't remember um, but in my hometown it's hard to find uh, great sushi in Israel I mean and where I live now I live in the countryside but in the um, nearby city it's also not so easy to find uh, good sushi the local food is great but um, the Asian food is somewhat lacking and um, yeah so whenever I go to Tel Aviv I always 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 go to this one particular sushi place uh, that is called the moon and or just moon um, and yeah my um, best friend that lives in Tel Aviv she knows it and we always have to go there and if <laughs> and if she happens to be pregnant or something then she sacrifices herself and comes with me and watches me eat good sushi <laughs> so it's really good um, yeah and I just added some bits and pieces um, to the page uh, not a lot to it it was just really really fun and a really great way to play and uh, get a feel of uh, my peerless watercolors so I hope you enjoyed this video have a great day bye